An hour away from when another SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket could launch into space. The launch was supposed to take place yesterday, but was pushed back to tonight. But will the weather hold up? That's the big question. Jono Nice here at is live in Cape Canaveral, where a small group is gathering to watch the launch. And then we're live here along State Road 401, where behind me you can see some of the people sitting out here standing. And within the last 30 minutes, we have experienced rain and seen some lightning. And that's when we also know that SpaceX sent out a tweet saying they are now planning liftoff for midnight because of that weather. Even before night fell, people were excited for the latest Falcon 9 mission. SpaceX sends out this picture of the duo ready to go on the launch pad. Ed Geiger with U.S. Launch Report spent three and a half years building this telescope that will track the rocket. Every launch is exciting to me because I like to track, and I track it manually. It's not automatic. A joystick. He'll use this joystick to make sure the telescope stays locked on when the Falcon 9 releases the commercial communication satellite it's carrying into space. The satellite will service parts of India, China, and East Asia. They'll post their progress on the U.S. Launch Report website. We do it for fun. Many of these people have seen launches before, but say it never gets boring. I think we all like space. I think we all know we probably made a, maybe it originated from space. So I think we all uh, kind of are looking for a home. And then one of my favorite parts of this story is once the rocket, rocket returns, it's going to land on a drone ship in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and it's called, get this, of course, I still love you. Now there it is, folks. Tad 39B with a mobile launch tower. It is September 10th, just after 12.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and you are looking at a live view of the Falcon 9 rocket with the Telstar 18 Vantage spacecraft on top, awaiting liftoff from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Tonight we are launching the Telstar 18 Vantage spacecraft to a geostationary transfer orbit. Liftoff is planned for 12.45 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time or 0445 Universal Time, coming up just some 12 minutes and 40 seconds from now. This will be SpaceX's 16th launch of this year, and today we will be flying a brand new Block 5 booster, which we will be attempting to land on our East Coast drone ship named, of course, I Still Love You. For today's mission, we're launching out of historic Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. This is one of SpaceX's two East Coast launch sites. On the pad, through a couple of drops of rain which have now left the area, you can see the two-stage Falcon 9 vehicle, standing 70 meters tall, greater than the wingspan of a Boeing 747. The first stage is powered by nine Merlin 1D engines, and they do the bulk of the work to carry Falcon 9 from the ground into the vacuum of space. Today's mission is the fifth flight of our Block 5 vehicle design. Block 5 represents a series of upgrades to Falcon 9, designed to allow us to reuse each Falcon 9 10 times or more, as well as reduce the refurbishment time needed between flights. Good news is the SpaceX and spacecraft teams are working no significant issues right now. On the Falcon 9 side, the team came on console at T-minus 2 hours, gave their goes for launch, and we began propellant loading at T-minus 35 minutes. Currently, the second stage fuel tank is completely loaded. Meanwhile, first stage fuel is going on board, and we are loading liquid oxygen onto both the first and second stages. The liquid oxygen loading will end between T minus three minutes and T minus two minutes before launch. On the spacecraft side, the team is go for launch. We just heard that they have completed transfer of the spacecraft from ground power to the onboard batteries. That finished up at T minus 15 minutes. There's no further commanding plan of the spacecraft before launch. They're ready to go. On the range side, we're flying out of the Air Force's eastern range. They have the airspace and the ocean areas clear for launch right now. They've also been giving us weather forecasts, releasing weather balloons. We've obviously been delayed early this morning for weather. We've been delayed 77 minutes. We've had rain, lightning, and thick clouds, but the weather officer says that's all clearing out right now, so the weather looks good for an on-time launch 45 minutes after the hour. If we've got the pad mics up, you may be hearing the hiss and pop of pressure venting from the rocket, as well as the plumbing that's on the transporter rector. 
the white clouds you see around the rocket, that's the moist Florida atmosphere. It's condensing around the areas where the cold gaseous oxygen is vented overboard. We've also got gaseous oxygen venting from the base of the Falcon 9. That's due to chilling in those Merlin turbo pumps that began at T-minus 7 minutes. The liquid oxygen chills the pump on each engine, and then it's vented overboard. Stage 2, press for flight. Go for launch. Stage one's at startup pressures. E minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9's configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off.